Hello there, my name is Plumby and today I am going to be bringing you guys along and showing you how I create my sims in The Sims 4. I always begin with randomizing the sim that I'm going to be using. So I've already randomized a sim for you guys and I thought this is like a good base to start off of. I do kind of struggle with sculpting my sims faces. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. So I always try to get like a decent like face shape to begin with when randomizing the sim and I just click down there to randomize the sim. So usually when I go into create a sim, I honestly don't usually have like a necessarily a plan on like what I want to do. I kind of just go with the flow to be completely honest. So we're just going to kind of find some eyes to go with. Also, I think I should mention that today's video is going to be very, very relaxed. Um, a little bit more relaxed than my usual videos. So if you want to maybe grab some tea and a blanket and get all snuggled off and warm I would really recommend you do that because uh yeah this today's video is going to be very low-key and very relaxed so I'm thinking about maybe going with these eyes I haven't used this eye color in an awful long time so it would be really fun to kind of maybe use this again but I'm not really sure if I, I want to go with this I'm very indecisive so we're definitely going to be here for a while green eyes are actually really pretty I'm actually going to just like sculpt her head around so I'll kind of just move a lot around when kind of doing the eyes. I'm not really sure how I feel about this sim's face for now. Like she isn't really, there's just something a little bit off. Okay, I think I'm going to move on to the nose. I kind of just, you know, oh that's such a cute nose. <laughs> I kind of just, you know, move around a lot and obviously I'm not done with the eyes yet but I thought we could like take a break from the eyes so I can quickly kind of focus maybe on the nose a little bit. When it comes to kind of shaving my sim's uh, nose and eyes, I really don't usually like have much of a style I would say I like to make um sometimes I used to make my sin's eyes like quite small maybe like this size but I've recently started making them a little bit bigger and I tend to go with more bigger lips on my sims and I think that's mainly because I have quite small lips so <laughs> kind of living vicariously through my sims um although i need to create sims with smaller lips because smaller lips are lovely and just as lovely as big lips but i like to live vicariously through my sims so yeah okay i think i can kind of get behind this sims look a little bit more i actually think i'm going to switch up her eyebrows now uh just to kind of go with maybe these ones down here these have been my go-to eyebrows at the moment uh these are by the peachy fairy and they are very very good i'm thinking red hair you guys i'm not gonna lie i did actually <laughs> I feel like I'm contradicting myself, but I actually came into this wanting to make a sim with red hair. So kind of lying about the fact that when I, I start doing a great sim, I don't have an idea in my head. But I feel like I haven't made a sim with red hair in quite a while. So I think that could be a fun thing to do. So maybe we'll go with the red hair today. I decided to actually change up the eyes as I felt as if they weren't really the eyes that I wanted to use for today's sim. Now, as we're kind of getting more into sculpting her face, I kind of want a very sweet and adorable looking sim. And that is mainly because lots of the sims that I do create are quite wholesome and, you know, adorable. So I feel like I want to kind of go with that today because that is kind of the main kind of look I go for. I just love creating kind of wholesome sims wholesome sims because they make me feel really really happy they do bring a lot of joy to my heart so i think i'm quite happy with this actually um i quite like how the sim is kind of turning out she looks a little bit sad <laughs> not gonna lie but hopefully we can maybe there we go make her look like she's a little bit more happy okay i'm quite happy with this i always forget to like check my sims faces from the side um so we're gonna do that now just to kind of make sure that you know because i think she looks quite nice from the front but not too sure how she looks from the side okay i'm quite happy with with this okay awesome let's actually head into the skin details now so now we've kind of got like a rough kind of look for her face oh i almost completely forgot i always give my sims big ears because they're adorable. I do not care what anyone says, big ears are freaking adorable and I love giving them to my sims. All right, so now we're gonna go with a skin blend. So sometimes I just use my default skin, but I think today I, I do wanna go with the skin blend. So uh, let's see what we have here, which everyone kind of suits the sim the most. Okay, I'm quite liking this one. So I think we may go with this one. Let's take, take a look at the other swatches though. Um, oh, I really like it in this swatch actually. Okay, we're gonna go with this swatch. I think that looks really lovely and I'm actually gonna shape her eyes around a little bit, gonna make her eyes a little bit bigger, maybe kind of 
make her look like she's kind of squinting a little bit. <laughs> I think that's quite cute. And we're gonna go with some eyelashes. Uh, okay, I just go with the Kajiko ones usually. Also, if you see any custom content in today's video that I'm using, I won't be linking it, but you can find a lot of it in a video that I've done linking all of my favorites. So I'll be leaving a card in the corner to that video. And if there is like a specific CC piece that you do see me kind of use today that you maybe want to download, let me know and I'll find you that like specific CC piece link. Gonna go with some freckles because I love freckles. I think they are so adorable and the majority of my sims, oh didn't mean to give her that, the majority of my sims do have freckles because I think they are just so wonderful and I don't have freckles but I would love to have freckles. I just think they are really really lovely. Gonna throw on some eye bags and this lip overlay here just to give her face like a little bit more depth. I feel like that's why I like having like my lip overlays and my eye bags because they kind of give my sims face a lot more depth <laughs> as I did say. Okay I think I'm happy with the skin details. I think I can get past how they are looking and we're also going to go ahead and go with some teeth. <laughs> um, We're gonna go with maybe these ones here by Light Deficient. Just like a cute little gap. I'm kind of messing around with the eyes a lot. Um, As I said I do make these like mini tweaks when creating the sims just so I can get like the exact look I want. So now we're gonna move on I think to the hairs. So I'm gonna filter custom content. I do need to go on a CC haul pretty soon to pick up some new pieces as I have used most of these hairs already but we can kind of check some out just kind of see if anyone's really spark anything <laughs> if you will or really kind of suit the sim and if not we can look at some non-custom content hairs. Short hair on her is so adorable as well. Uh, let's just kind of see. I can just go through lots of the hairs kind of trying to figure out which one that I think kind of suits the sim the most. Right now I'm actually really loving how this hair looks and then how this hair looks which are two quite different hairs but I think they look really adorable. I'm kind of loving this hair. I'm not gonna lie. Okay I'm gonna quick I think we're gonna go with this hair but I'm gonna quickly change her skin blend as I'm not really sure how I feel about the skin blend now last minute as I said. Very very indecisive. I will most likely change my mind like a jillion times before I end up settling on anything. I kind of like how she looks without any skin blends actually. I don't know though. I mean that's Hold on, I think we're just gonna keep the skin blend that I went for. Maybe I'm gonna switch up her freckles a bit because I feel like, where are they? Here we go, I wanna try out maybe these freckles. These are the freckles I wanna go for. Um, But we are now gonna go with some eye catch lights, which I haven't been using as much, but I feel like I wanna use them today. I'm gonna go with a very, very subtle one though, like this one here, just like very, very subtle. Not really much of a difference. Okay, body shape wise, I'm just gonna go. I think this actually, this is okay, honestly. I feel like this, this body shape is fine. So we're just gonna keep that the same and now for style okay i'm thinking white could suit her actually <gasps> wait you guys okay so i think maybe she is a nursery teacher i think that that would make a ton of sense i can totally see her being a nursery teacher okay so um yeah usually around this point when picking out the outfits I, it kind of comes to me who i kind of want this sim to be right now i'm getting nursery teacher vibes so i'm thinking maybe this jumper here from tiny living could look cute i'm thinking a very cozy sim. I think she is a nursery teacher and maybe she really enjoys books and especially children's books. Lately I have been really into children's classics so I feel like this is a good time to create a sim who enjoys children's books. So this this is definitely working out. These dungarees are so adorable. Hold on, I want to go with these. The only problem is that they're kind of glitching with the uh, the jumper up there a little bit. So maybe we'll have to find a jumper which, which doesn't clip with these dungarees. But these dungarees are adorable and I really want to go with them. But like the top is kind of clipping a little bit with lots of the clothing. Okay, so I found this top from Discover University, which I think looks really adorable. I mean, this is just for her everyday wear. So it is going to be very, very casual. So I think that looks pretty nice. Maybe we'll go with some nails as well. And maybe go with some French nails. These are really pretty. These are by Vanilla Sims. I think a watch tea let's see here i do use this watch <laughs> from vintage glamour a lot i really love it i think it looks really nice um so i think we're gonna go with that it kind of adds like a little bit of a vintage flair to her outfit and maybe maybe we're gonna go ahead and throw on some flats maybe try and find some cute little flats okay those are adorable 
I like those. Okay, I think this is her everyday wear all completed. I'm actually really proud of it. And now we're gonna go ahead and kind of give her some makeup. Usually my Sims have quite natural makeup. I do try to kind of create my Sims differently to each other. So they all have their individual styles, but I think I, I generally just lean towards very natural makeup, if you will, when it comes to creating my Sims. So you will notice that like lots of my Sims makeup is like relatively similar. Okay, we're gonna go to some blush here maybe a lot of blush okay we'll, we'll tone the blush down a little bit um there we go i think some some blush would be adorable <laughs> i always go with blush for lips i don't actually know oh red lips could look nice actually hold on i feel like red lips could look very very pretty that's kind of oh that's really lovely actually maybe turned on the opacity i think that's quite pretty i don't know I, i'm not really feeling the shine on this sim so maybe we'll go with a less kind of shiny lip oh <gasps> yes okay i think this is the one maybe turned on the opacity there we go that looks really lovely and then of course the nose highlight which i go with on literally all of my sims and maybe just a little necklace to you maybe just this one right here this one's really pretty okay i think we are done i'm not gonna do all the outfits today because else i feel like we'd be here for the majority of the day but i may kind of pick up this sim and finish off her outfits and kind of think of a story for her later on maybe because she is so adorable and i feel like you know her being like a nursery teacher who really enjoys children's classics let's actually name her now I'm thinking heidi actually sort of named after the children's classic which is Heidi and I think that kind of suits the theme so this is Heidi you guys and for her last name I want to like name her something which kind of matches with her hair color thinking Poppy more I think that's lovely because Poppies they're red Heidi Poppy more I don't know actually if that sounds kind of bad sometimes my my sim surnames are usually like a hit or a miss they sometimes work really well and other times they're a little bit weird uh I think when I go with like a very high voice don't have my game audio on right now so I can't actually tell and I think we're gonna go with books I'm she doesn't really want to become a famous author though I'm thinking maybe family I think she wants to have a family one day and she wants to have a big happy family i think that'd be a quite nice aspiration gonna go the bookworm obviously and she is definitely very family oriented i think she's also a very creative sim i think she definitely has a very creative mind maybe she does art as well i think that would be really really lovely um maybe we'll go with art lover just kind of throw that in there kind of also getting the vibe that she's a vegetarian so we'll just sprinkle that in there <laughs> why not red no no yellow i don't know i feel like her favorite color is yellow she's definitely into classical music easy listening music and cottage core music i feel like those three definitely really suit heidi i think she would enjoy baking i also think she would definitely enjoy painting okay we are finished you guys so this is heidi poppy moore let me know what you think about her i hope you did enjoy kind of coming along with me and creating heidi poppy moore today and i hope this kind of answered some of your questions to how i do create my sims if you are interested in kind of seeing my must have and most used custom content there will be a link in the description box to you, those videos down below if you'd like to kind of grab my must use custom content and if you did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video